Hey guys, thanks for coming back to check out another Mail Day video. Gracing us in the background with their presences, we have Big Zion in the middle, on the right of him, Luca, on the right of Luca, Ja, on the left of Zion, Trey, and then a silver emergent Seku all the way on the left. It's kind of hard to see the silverness. There you go. So I realize the pile doesn't look so big, but I usually separate everything by weight. And this bottom one is extremely heavy. So hopefully it's not all just cardboard, but we'll find out. And let's just get started with this one. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. Boom, starting off with Kobe White. And Swiffer. All right, so I bought a lot of Kobe White in the last video. We'll grab some and look at them in a second. So this is a Revolution, this is from the Revolution set. It is a Shockwave Kobe White and it's not the Chinese New Year because it would say that up here. And I just thought this card looked good and I think I got it for a dollar. So to get a kind of prism-y Halloween card for a dollar, I'll take it all day. And some of the ones we pulled in the last video were Kobe White jersey cards. And so there you go with those. Love these guys. Really like this guy, and he was super cheap if you saw the price I paid for him. So let's get this guy over there, and let's keep it rolling. So it's packed pretty tight, so I didn't want to use the scissors, but I might have to. this guy so this one's pretty heavy too but it's kind of small so I was thinking it's just one one card two cards and good ones let's clear that off a bit so first off our Kobe white emergent so that's fitting I realized when I was setting this up, I was like, we don't have this guy in yet. So I had a feeling he would be in there. And that works out. So he'll go he'll go up there with the rest the next time we display that. So more Kobe White. I'm picking him up a lot. And this jaw. So it was a lot. I think it was about five bucks for both of these. Um, I really like this card because of the shoes. There's definitely other cards where he's wearing these shoes. And if it focuses in there, you can see they're different colors. They're really nice. I have two more of these that we pulled in the last video right there. None of them are silver, unfortunately. But it's a cool looking card. It's a cheap jaw. So. I don't know. I like these instant impacts a lot, even though they're kind of the low hanging bottom of the barrel type of John Morant cards. So we we'll put him, let's move this aside, put him right there, and let's get to the big one. Hopefully, it's not just one card, because then it's going to be a really short video. Or it might just take me really long to open this. And that would work too. Oh, it's a bunch of cards. Great. Oh, this was from a team break. And I had, it looks like I had the Nets as usual and the Pistons as usual and also the calves. So let's start off, put these to the side, and 
and let's start off with this guy. Gosh, this tape is really sticking. Really don't want to damage the card, but it's not a great one on the end, so I think we're going to have to cut this. There we go. Sometimes you just got to do it. Not bad. Kept the cards intact. Ooh. Fire right there on the front. Isaiah Thomas. Red, white, and blue. Prism. Silver. I don't know if all the red, white, and blues are silvery like this. Let me just double check with that Seiku. Is it? Yeah, it is. So all of them, I guess just the background of this is a lot nicer. So it shines better. I really don't like him as a player, as a coach, especially not as a coach. My theory is the Knicks are still suffering from all the damage he did. And I'm happy to put that on record because, yeah. But it's a nice card. Silver Blake. Sweet. Markeef Morris. Seiku, there we go. Another one, $5 card. Put that in our highlights right here. Another Seiku. And this is an, oh, you know what this was? This was an Oprah break. So for those of you who don't know what that is, that an Oprah break always includes a complete set of, you know, of a box. So I got every Detroit Pistons card um, in the optics and the, and I don't know exactly why these shine a little different, but they're cool. And I have a Seiku now that shines. So we'll go through these pretty quickly. Drummond, Rose, Reggie Jackson, Blake Griffin again. They do look nice. If you have a favorite player, maybe you go grab grab the one like this. This card looks really nice. Luke Kennard. Dylan Windler. Rookie. Two of them. They're both different. We put that in our highlights. Kevin Porter Jr., rookie. Darius Garland, rookie. He's going to be good. I've been looking at his cards. Very, very good. He's already starting to play well after the All-Star break. You know, getting a lot of assists. He could be a solid point guard in the league. If he's not a starter, he'll be a very, very good six man. So um, he's not someone to overlook. Darius Garland, rookie. Oh, this is a cool card. Colin Sexton. It shines really nicely compared to some of these other ones. It has the shine all the way through, but this one just stands out more. I don't know why. All right, Luke Kennard, Kevin Love, Tristan Thompson, Jordan Clarkson, and Seti Osman. This is the one I was kind of gnawing at with the tape. Looks fine, unless I did that. Just some dust. Cool. Okay, so there's more. He saved the good ones. No, these are all nets. 
I did see some fire on the front, so I think we're going to go backwards. I'll put these on the side. And then we'll go like this. Whoa. Nick Claxton, rated rookie. He's a tough kid. If he puts on some muscle, he's going to be good. Bit of a scuffle with Ben Simmons this season. Uh, that's what he's most well known for. I think his season high was about 15 points. Uh, you're going to see some more cards from him coming up soon. But he could be a good player. If you watch his highlights, he's, he really plays hard. You know, it's all about hustle and... And he's good at finishing at the rim. Terrible free throw. You know, typical center. But, yeah, Nick Claxton. Green. Joe Harris. Jared Allen. KD. This is a beautiful card. This is a beautiful card. I'm going to sleeve it up right now. All right, I'm going to follow what Pac-Man said. We got to cut the side a little bit because if we don't, it's going to damage the card. And he believes in it wholeheartedly. And so if he ever watches one of my videos, I don't want him to, to see me not following the rules. So Pac-Man, if you're watching, comment down below the Pac-Man technique. Cut the side a bit. Save the corners. Sweet, sweet, sweet looking KD. We got his partner in crime right next to him. Kyrie. Overlooked, underrated. Nobody's talking about these two guys. We're sleeving him up. Even though he's a bit overlooked and underrated, you know, it's Kyrie, so his cards are still a lot. But when you're looking at base cards and, and some of the, you know, non-highly sought-after cards, like this one, I bet you could get this one for a dollar or more than one of them for a dollar. And it's great. And it's a Nets, Kyrie Irving Nets jersey. Put these guys together. All right, and DeAndre Jordan. Okay, who's next? Got a lot of cards here. So three packages, this turned out well. I knew it was heavy. I don't know if you guys saw these, but Luke Kennard, Kevin Love, Tristan Thompson, Jordan Clarkson said, hell yeah, we did see these. My bad. All right, last few. Joe Harris, silver. I think I already have a Joe Harris, silver. I like him. Three-point shooting machine. Torian Prince. Talked about him in another video. It's nice to have that prism base of him. I'm going to be going after some of his rookie cards. If I can find some that look nice. So he's in the Hawks jersey with the Nets card. Then another Nick Claxton rookie. These two are cool. Not numbered. You know, nothing special, just the green green version of this one and last and definitely not least so I was happy I hit something in this optic this was one of these first off the line optics that was in the break so they do the Oprah break with another break that usually doesn't have that many cards so usually you want to hit something in the other you know in the other box which I did and so this is a numbered card Jared Allen 26 out of 29. 
auto dominator signatures I'll take it you know in a team break you're not always gonna get stuff my first auto from a team break I believe you know I have a bunch of those Katina Mobley autos that I purchased um, but it, it's a nice looking card and it's a Jared Allen auto and he's a good player and hopefully you know the Nets you know they have a pretty loaded front court right now with you know Nick Claxton there DeAndre Jordan you know you saw some of these guys in these cards um, so you know Jordan probably won't be there much longer um, he needs to get all the minutes he can handle Nick Claxton should develop um, but Jared Allen you know he's a good guy in fantasy so I imagine he has a lot of fans it's a numbered card it's an auto so definitely something I'll keep even if it's not that valuable and I'll put the price of whatever it's going for on eBay if it's even worthy of showing you guys so so cool video ended up being longer than expected but we got this highlight you saw the Durant's you saw the Kobe White's we got another jaw uh, we got a lot of cards here we got great Seku rookies Nick Claxton rookies and yeah and we got this isaiah thomas thanks for watching guys please remember to subscribe like comment and i'll see you guys in the next video peace